So select any cell and go to general tab. Activate construction script to preview the cell route. When you do that, you will see that there is spline being displayed. To modify the emplacement, we can come to route setting and click on handle mice. As we click on that, it will change the route configuration. You can also set the length of the road to be used on the X axis and the Y axis by clicking on that plus sign here and after the and enter any value that you want. Let's say that we enter this value. And it will be it will be taken into account and generate that. We can also remove any value that we don't want. This value come from the data that we pass with the zone blueprints. So this data is here, as you can see it. You can also change the rotation of the road to do that you come to road rotation and set any rotation you want but we set it to for this one let's say we use this this rotation the next thing you can do is to set the offset type. To do that, currently in this version, both are not really implemented. So you can use no offset or chaotic offset. Notice that when you set it to chaotic offset, nothing is happening. It is because you have to press, you have to set the offset size. In hold offset size, you go here and let's add, let's add 3000 offset size. Nothing is still happening. It is because you have to set the frequency at which it will occur. The offset frequency determine how many hold will be affected by the offset size, by the offset type. So let it let's set it to point two. Now you can see that there is some offset. We can increase the offset amount or decrease it, but don't use too much, too big value. This value is compared by the smallest value in both road length on and road left on x axis so let's set it to 10,000 for example you see that it is compared to 7,000 it is because it is this half the smallest value here but it's not it will not necessarily it's not necessarily a good thing to increase it to high value. So, if you want, you can set it like this. So, don't just play it the value and see what what works for you. Let's say that we we'll set it to one thousand. Here. Now that we do we do that, it is time to spawn the holds. So, but before we spawn the road, go to general tab. Make sure that add road and add port is checked. If you use, if you want to spawn, if you want to use my procedure road generator to spawn additional road actors, you check it to true. But in case you need to have my procedure road generator. 
one thing you can say is that you can prevail the road props the road prop spline that is the spline that will be used to spawn the road props check it notice currently that the road are out are some some road are going outside the cell boundary to see it lights isolate it you can see that they are going outside the road boundary if you check preview road post plan you see that they are now inside you don't need to check this choose it just for preview and so don't make sure that both are select are checked if you want to use PRG, you check this one too, so that it will spawn more roots. Now to spawn, to spawn roots and plot, we go to PCC command tab and click on spawn cell contents. Once it's finished, you can see that it's spawning some road and plots. In the next tutorial, we'll see how to to bake road props and to randomize them.